guys, this is Lucas, back with another video on Minecraft Player 09. As you guys know, I changed my channel, and this is my new channel, guys. Second new channel. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Garbo Mega Man Lego set from Ninjago Movie, including the legendary Ultimate Weapon. So of course, we always need to start off with the minifigures, and let's take a look at this one first. Let's set the figures aside. So here is the Great White, as they call him in the box. And he basically just has this fish kind of sword arrow thingy. He has a really menacing face, I like it. And then he also has the same shark mold as they use for a lot of the other Lego sets. And then he also has a school um, printing all over him. And then he also comes with a gunmetal gray oxygen tank. And no double sided face for him. Let's go on Garmadon. So here's Garmadon and he's he's um, not one of my favorites but I still do like him. Like I want to get multiples of him even though like there's like a lot of him. I hope they can make like I don't know a past or volcano Garmadon in another Lego set. Or maybe like in the new Ninjago City kind of Lego set, which is actually just show the pictures from Just Do Good. And he comes with this four swords and pretty facial looking face. And then, as you know, he has these two body pieces that just connect like that. And then he also has this helmet that they also use as a collectible minifigures. So I'll put him here. And now let's move on to the Green Ninja himself, Lloyd Garmadon. Mm -hmm. And I, I, um, I really love this figure, but he's the exact same one in like other Lego sets. He's really one of the most common. I wish they added like I don't know, say the collectible minifigures one. And he has the same scimitar, same suit, and even though I wish they added like this blueprint of something else or something. But, I don't know, I guess they do what they want. And he has two faces. He has a mad face. And he has the an, another smirky face, just like what they have in the collectible minifigures line. Hello. And, uh, this is kind of a weird looking figure with, like, I don't know, like, uh, this is like a lot less shinier than say the collectible minifigures one, as you can see. All right, so next up is Patty. I mean Pat, my bad. Um, I actually um, made a mistake when I called her Patty, and she kind of looked like I don't know, say um, an another Ninjago figure. I think Ray. That is it. Yeah, sorry if I mistake them as Patty, but eh, you know, whatever, it's similar. She has only one face. She has a, the same um, hat mold, a new hat mold, that they also use with a bunch of other Ninjago figures. And she has a scared face here, a red camera, and a really nice robe piece, to be honest. So, of course, next up is Grandma Mecha Man. Basically, this dude is tall, but not really realistic to the movie, because basically, he just had sharks. This guy was way, 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 way taller. And those, this also comes with the ultimate weapon, by the way. He comes with movable legs, and they also have this thingy on each side, which don't really do much. And they also have arms. Okay, so let's show you. you. Move arms like this. There's a finger movement. This. You can go like that, like that. Also this. Pretty much a lot of articulation on this one. And this one doesn't even have fingers. It has a shark. It goes like this and comes with a spring-loaded shooter that just shoots there, and then they give you another X one. 
And of course, this is not like the other one because it actually, this is actually supposed to represent, I don't know, like a shark shooting thingy. And then, of course, this up top is movable, but it's not really meant to be movable. And you have a seafood garment on. Let's throw them in there. So first, we, all we need to do is just remove the swords, the katoni, the garmadon, and, and what? then all we do is just stick them in. This rooftop also opens, so all you do is just open it. So wait, I need to fix garmadon. Okay, let's go do this. So just put them in. And then he fits right there. Right there. Now all you do is just close him up. Also the roof. And there's, there's Garmadon in it. And <coughs> at the back, it's also, it's also pretty nice. Because they have like this tube thingy with a bunch of fish in it. And it actually comes in an extra one of these tubes. Somewhere lying around in my um, display area. And it also has like the blue shaded cockpit with two fish inside that says do not feed. But if they were trying to make a mini fig scale one, they would rather just build this all the way up there and just put sharks in it. Just put sharks. And then what I really like too is that they also have this that actually spins on both sides. And then there's a sign there that says do not feed and then you can also see the technique way it's going to work. The top thing does move like this. Like that, but it's not really meant to move. Same with the sides, but it's not really meant to move. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Garma Mecha Man. Except, wait, 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 wait. You know, the legendary ultimate weapon. Where do you put it? Oh no. Where do you put it? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding guys, we just attach it to this clip up here. And also a cool thing is, so wait. Okay, let's go angle it this way. You get and as you can see this hand can move and this it can make it will let him hold it. The thing itself can hold the ultimate weapon and destroy all the other ninjas mechs from the movie. Spoiler alert. Hmm. I should have said it before. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I really like this ultimate weapon, even though they already did it. The, the thing that I don't like, though, so... Watch it. I'm just gonna move Garmad on the side. Let's go on Lloyd. Let's go Lloyd. So, so, for the meantime, let's just... Yeah, let's just leave this cut on the scimitar there. The bad thing is, so I'll attach it on him. Every time, it easily just keeps spinning, so you can't really angle it. Unlike with the fake Lego sets, the, the ultimate weapon just stays in place. Which I actually, to be honest, I actually do love fake Lego's ultimate weapon more than Lego's because this thing just spins too much. A lot of stuff just spins too much. Usually it just stays in place. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it for Gummer Mecha Man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to share this video and like and subscribe and share this video with your friends or family. Until next time, bye!